Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to day six. Uh, we are continuing with composite figures. We're doing part two. Uh, in the last lesson, we were looking at perimeter and area, uh, and I realized that was a lot. And so I figured we needed a second day just looking at area, okay? Because there are a lot of steps, um, and but we're gonna just continue to break it down. I'm gonna help you set up uh, these problems, and uh, I'm gonna let them do uh, you do most of them on your own. I'm gonna help you with a couple of them, but. For, for this video, I'm just gonna help set it up. I'm not gonna give you the answers here uh, because you will uh, need to do those on your own, all right? So before uh, we actually get into some problems, I wanna review the steps, okay? So here are the steps. These are the same steps we did last time, okay? These are the steps for finding the area of a composite figure. First, we gotta divide uh, the figure into shapes whose areas we know. So we're just dividing it up to normal, regular shapes that we know, triangles, squares, rectangles, uh, and so on and so forth, right? Step two is we are going to write down the formula for each of these. And guys, this is really important that you don't skip this step, right? Because the formulas is gonna be how you know to how to find the area. Now, I don't have them here, but the formula sheet uh, is uh, going to be given to you on the test. And so I'm going to give you a copy of that here today. But I'm also, uh, you know, um, it is in the notes from last time. And so use your formula sheet uh, to know what the formulas are. So you don't have to memorize those, but make sure anytime you need a formula, you use that sheet. All right. Step three is you're going to label uh, all of the parts. Uh, and that is just to make sure that you have all of your uh lengths uh, or your, your measurements for each of uh, the pieces of the formula. Step four is we are going to substitute those values in. Okay, so you're going to substitute them in, substitute the base in and the height, the length and the width, the side, so on and so forth. Uh, and then step five, you are going to add up the areas of all of the different shapes that you found. Okay, hey, do me a favor. If you will, go ahead, uh, go back to you have this formula sheet in your notes. Sorry, I went the wrong way. Okay, uh, this formula sheet right here. Hey, go ahead and do this for me. I want you to turn and I want you to add, go ahead and add square to it, okay? So square, it has all the same size. The formula for the area of a square is S times S, or you can just think about it S squared. Okay, so I want everybody to go ahead and do that. So flip back in your pages from a page from last time, add this formula to your formula sheet. That way you have it because there's going to be several squares in um, on the test and then as well as in today's lesson. All right. So now let's let's continue on to uh, problems for today. Okay, so I'm going to start by just helping you set these up again you're gonna have to do these on your own but I'll, I'll help you with setting it up so first thing is you can divide this you gotta we gotta divide this shape up into shapes that we know okay now there's multiple ways you could do it you could divide it here or you could divide it here all right so just understand if you don't divide the shape up the way I do it is okay all right you still will get the same answer if you do it correctly the way I would divide this shape up is I would divide this right here, okay? And so when I do that, what three shapes do I have? Well, I have three rectangles. And so I'm gonna need the formula for each of the rectangles. Well, area for a rectangle is length times width. Area for a rectangle is, again, length times width. Area for the rectangle is gonna be length times width, okay? So again, I'm gonna need to end up doing that three, three times, all right? Now, I gotta make sure I have all of my measurements for each of them. So, for this rectangle, do I have the length and the width? Well, let's look at it. The, the length uh, is this way, the width is this way. Well, I don't have this labeled. It says this is six, okay? But six is from here all the way across, all right? So, this I just cut this, so I don't have all of that six. Well, I know that this little piece is two. So if this little piece is two and the whole thing is six, then I know that this piece is four, okay? So the width of my uh, rectangle is four. So now I have the width is four, 
I'm sorry, yeah, the length is four and the width is nine, okay? For this one, do I have a length and a width? Yes, I do, it's two and three, okay? For this one, length and width, well, I don't have this one labeled, but I know this is two, and so this is also two, okay? So now I have all of my parts that I need for my formula, and then I just plug in the numbers, right? Length is four, okay? So again, I'll, I'll do, do this first one for you. Length is four centimeters. The width is nine centimeters. So when I multiply four centimeters times nine centimeters, I'm gonna end up with 36 centimeters squared. Okay. And so it, sometimes I like to just find the area right inside of the figure. Now, sometimes your shapes are gonna be too small, so you can't do that. You can just do it out to the side. But um, again, it's a good idea to, to just do that, solve that right there in the middle, okay? This one's small, so I'm not gonna solve it there. Area equals length times width. We said my length is two centimeters. My width is three centimeters. Multiply those. Three times two is six centimeters squared. Okay. So this inside is six centimeters squared. Okay. Now, this, these two are the same. Sorry about that. These two are the same. And so I can, I don't have to multiply that again. I can just and so now I have found the area of each of these pieces. And so now to find the area of the whole shape, all I got to do is add these. So we got three, 36 centimeters squared plus six centimeters squared plus another six centimeters squared. And then when I add all of that up, I'm going to end up with 48 centimeters squared. Hey, Sorry, now you're good. Interrupted. Yeah, you're okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, I ended up talking to Rosa, and she had some of her um, worksheets. Uh huh. So we kind of use that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, that's yeah, perfect. Yeah, awesome. So, awesome. I love it. I yeah. love it. All right. All right. Awesome. All right. So that is forty-eight centimeters squared is the area of the entire uh, figure. There. Shout out to Mr. Market. All right. Now for the next ones. All I'm gonna do is just help you sort of get it set up, but I'm not gonna actually do them for you, okay? So uh, for the next one, again, I want you to cut this shape, right? Where would I divide this shape? Again, it's pretty pretty simple here, all right? Uh, so I'm actually not gonna, I'm not gonna do that one. I'm gonna let you do that one on your own, okay? This one is already kind of cut up for you, right? You have a, a rectangle and then you have a triangle uh, the one thing that I will say is again this the base of that triangle is missing but you have that there so eight yards okay so again what you will you got a triangle here you got a square I'm sorry a rectangle here so make sure you start by writing those formulas one half base times height. And again, I know that from my memory, but again, you use your formula sheet to, to help you with that, all right? Then there's a rectangle, and then the area of that is length times width, okay? So then just plug in the answers, find the area of each piece, and then add it up, okay? So the rest of them, again, I uh, the, the rest of them in this section, I'm gonna let you do on your own. Okay. All right. Now let's look at, this is the last type of problem I want to go over because we hadn't seen one like this. Find the area of the shaded region. Okay. So in this one, I have a square, but I also have a circle inside that's been taken out. And so to find the area of that shaded region, I just got to subtract it here. Okay. So first I'm going to start by finding the area of my square. Well, area formula for square is side squared, okay, or side times side. And for my side, it is eight feet, and then I'm going to square that, okay? So eight, I'm sorry, eight squared, okay? Eight feet times eight feet is going to give me 64 feet squared, okay? So that is the area of the square. Now, I got to find the area of the circle and then subtract that. Okay, so the area of the formula for area of a circle is pi r squared. So finding the area of this circle, pi is 
area, I'm sorry, the radius is four squared. So four squared, okay, and then that's feet, okay? And so then I'm just gonna multiply that. So multiply 3.14 times four squared. Well, four squared is 16 times 3.14. That is gonna give me 50.24 and that's feet squared, okay? So this is the, the area for the, the shape I'm sorry, the circle inside. So what I gotta do is I have to take the area of the whole square, and this time I gotta take, I gotta subtract and remove that from uh, this, okay? So from the 64, so 64, so to find the area of the shaded, I'm gonna do 64 minus 50.24, and that is just gonna give me the area of the shaded region. 13.76 feet squared, okay? All right, now, so for this one, this time you got two circles, okay? Um, it tells me that this is 21. So I am gonna need the radius of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that 21 and I'm gonna divide it by two. That gives me 2.5 and then I'm gonna divide that by, by two more. So the radius is for this one is 5.2. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna use my formula for area equals pi r squared. Pi is 3.14. The radius is 5.25 squared, okay? And so when I do that, 3.14 times 5.25 squared. This gives me 86.54, and we'll just round it. There. Well, actually, it'll be 55 if we round it. Okay, this is also 86.55, okay, because these are the same. And then I gotta take the area of the whole rectangle, okay? And so that is 21 centimeters times 10.5 centimeters, okay? And then, so 21 times 10.5, this gives me 220.5 centimeters, okay? And so then, that is the area of the whole thing, so then I just gotta subtract these two from that. So 220.5 minus 86.55, oh, let me just, I'll just do that time. Oop, I'll do that times two. So again, I'm just, 86.55 times two, okay? That is 173.1, and then that gives me the minus 173.1, and that is 47.4 centimeters squared, okay? All right, so what you're gonna do is the same thing. Find the area of the rectangle, okay? then find the area of one of these circles. And once you find, now there's four of them, so you're gonna have to, each one of them is, is the, the same, all right? Uh, so that's what you do there. And then the rest of them, friends, you, again, are just similar to the ones that we have done, all right? So um, I want you to, again, some of these, again, they are challenging in some ways, uh, but I do believe that you can do it. So just, again, use your notes um, and uh, just try to break these up. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, and so hopefully this helps you. Uh, again, guys, practice is going to be how we fully uh, understand how to do this. So, so keep practicing, all right? If you're struggling, guys, struggling is a part of learning, all right? To struggle is to learn. So keep struggling on and uh, we will uh, see you in the next lesson.